It's Hot 937, hard for his number one for hip hop and R&B. We got Dream Doll in the building today. What up? Dream Doll. How you doing? I'm great. Yeah? yeah. You're so pretty. Thank you. You got a very nice complexion. You look like look good. Thank you. <laughs> All right, yeah. so I just need you to talk a little bit close to that mic only because oh, you're low. Okay. Someone like me, I'm like, Bleh. you know. No, okay. All right. And uh, congratulations on everything nice. Thank you. It's been growing. You yeah, know, like my hair. I, I, well, I like, I like the album because, well, I, you know, the, the that record specifically because you're like, um, you just kind of saying whatever you feel like saying. Yes. In fact, a few times I've quoted lines from that uh, record alone. Really? Yes. Like, why are you mad? Why are you mad? Yes. That's me, nice. Yeah, I like all that, the thought and stuff. Yeah, it makes me feel very happy. I like it. It's good. You know, we gotta like gotta say whatever you feel like saying. So that right there, that was actually on your last project, correct? Life in Plastic. No, I never put it on a project. Oh, I didn't. Oh, because I was looking for it on the new project, Life in Plastic Two, and I didn't. Yeah. See it on there, so I was. Assuming... I should have put it on there. You know, would have helped out a lot, <laughs> but I did. So what is this record? Just the record that you came out with, and everybody was like, "Oh, this is going to be the record for you, Dream Doll." And it's my biggest record. Yeah. It's actually my first time ever in the studio. Wow. Okay. Yeah. So lucky me. You know, I got to have my first record, one of my biggest records. But um, that's the record that I'm sticking to. Okay, so that will probably be on a future project, like yes. your album, or yes, I'll, next time I definitely will. Because now you have like a big record deal and everything. No, I don't. Oh, I'm really? Independent. You're independent. Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, that's a I'm, good thing. Yeah, I just went in entertainment. Uh oh, okay. All right. I'm sorry about that. So, Life in Plastic too. You have some uh, big names on there, such as Little Kim. Yes. Wow, congratulations on that. That's Thank awesome. You. I know that's your girl anyway. Yeah, you guys get along I love, good. I love Kim. She's so humble and just so encouraging. And So how was it working with her? Amazing. Yeah? And it was super easy and smooth. Um, so many good things I could say about her, but I'm just glad that, you know, the record came out great. So wait, so, I mean, when you're working with little Kim, because I can't even imagine, like, you know, I, wow. I mean, mm -hmm. she's such a legend in the business. So was yeah. there anything that she was able to tell you, or like, like, were you in the studio together, mm -hmm. or what happened? We we actually did not record it together. Okay. Um, we we had a conversation about um, you know, I asked her, hey, would you do a record with me? Just ask. Mm -hmm. And she was like, yeah, girl, send me to my email. She gave me email, and I was like, it took me like a week. I'm like, dang. I was kind of like overthinking at first. I'm like, dang. She said send two records. What two records? So I'm like. In the studio, busting my chops, like. Cause now you gotta think about like little Kim, like what is she gonna want to spit on? Exactly. Not right. even that. Like you don't get this opportunity more than once. Right. Like, this is it. This is gonna happen. If I send her two things that she don't like, chances are she's not gonna hear another two. Right. You know. So I just said after like two weeks of me just like overthinking, and just keep recording, recording nonstop. Mm -hmm. I just said, you know what? Funeral was already on my project, so it's kind of like just going back and just looking. And you know what, I'm going to sound funeral. So I sent one, because I was like, all right, I'm going to send one at a time right. so that I could feel a vibe if, you know, she don't like the first one. Okay. You know, so I sent it. She was like, I love it. Um, I'll send it to you on this date. Oh, and my. And then she. It was that easy? Little it Kim. Was, it was that easy. Wow. And she texted me. and was like, check your email. The, two days before, she told me that, I, that she was going to send it. And I just thought she was going to, like, forget about me and stuff like that. I'm like, oh, my God. So it's just. It's just words can't describe it. We actually seen the treatment today for the video, so we working on visuals. Oh, that's good. So, do you, what's the idea for the video for you? And Come Luke? on, sis. Like, <laughs> it got to It got to It's gonna. It's gonna definitely break the internet. Like, oh, okay. I'm literally, like, like my mind is just so creative on this song, and you know, Kim Kim videos are like legendary. Absolutely, like, yeah. Super, super, super creative. So, you know, I also want to see where her, her mind is at and what does she see for her because shoot I would love the goat telling me you know right oh I think you should do this do that and incorporate both of our ideas well I, congratulations that's a big yeah. deal you Thank also you. and I just recently learned about cupcake I know yes. Cup, you worked with Cupcake yes. as well. I didn't really know who Cupcake was, I'll uh -huh. be honest with you and then she's she's about to be out here yeah, and so I, we was researching her I was like dang she reminds me a lot of like little Kim style back in the day too yeah she's fire yeah, she's fire, and I couldn't see no one per more perfect for Splish Splash um, than Cupcake. Okay. It's perfect, nasty, you know what I mean? I love cake, cake, Cupcake music. I was a big fan of hers. Um, well, I still am, but I was a big fan of hers before I even got her on the track. Like, you know, I was like, damn, Cupcake will sound so good on it. Let me ask her. And she's like, yeah, girl, let's do it. And it's so simple. Like, I'm like. I don't know, you're having really good luck, because a lot of times people don't have good luck like this. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> Like, I'm, for, for me to just ask and, you know, it actually get done and, 
even like clearances and stuff like that. Like it, it's just like sometimes I be I don't be believing it, but my next shot is gonna be Rick and Drick DM like let's work. Oh, okay. With the fires. <laughs> and she probably, he'll probably say, yeah, okay. Yeah, Let's make on, this thing man. happen. You never know. I'm big on putting my pride aside and doing stuff, you know, and just stepping out there because they could either say yes or no or ignore me. If you can ignore me, one day I'm going to meet your ass and I'm going right. to ask you, hey, the open your DM, you reply now. Or maybe you'll be a bigger star than them at that time. Yeah. And then you can just be like, mm, right. it's all good. Mm -hmm, yeah. But it's just exciting. Are you going to go back to reality TV at all? Because you're extremely entertaining. <laughs> Look, I, I feel like you're entertaining because I, I, I felt like you're being yourself. Yeah, that's the thing. I'm a fun person. <laughs> but um, Some people seem a little forced. A yeah. little forced. I mean, you know that. Yeah, I know. Yeah. I know how it is. I've been on both situations. So, as far as, like, reality TV, TV goes and, like, love and hip-hop, I was kind of, like, trying to branch off from it because I feel as if, you know, ever since, like, being that m m me as an artist started after love and hip-hop, you know, after I was like built a relationship with self and then he signed me it's like i don't want to be like that typical loving hip-hop artist like i feel like it's just the label that you have and it's just hard to break away from that or it's people sleep on you because of that you know mm. um but thank god you know loving hip-hop did help me the way it did as far as um um, developing new, getting new listeners, grasping new right new listeners. people fell in love with you really exactly yeah so like um as far as you know my streams like it went up thirty thousand when everything nice first the first day it, it aired and if they're actually doing replays right now well they was doing replays yesterday and my streams was going up too you know so it's just it helps but then it's also like i feel like it's like a block that sometimes put put up like i guess they don't take sometimes they don't take love and hip-hop artists serious and i'm not trying to no know. because i've heard that from people in the past about I've done inter yes I've done interviews with multiple people from there and I mean I'm friends with a lot of people that are on that show Do they but say that absolutely okay. they say that you know I'm thinking they're gonna feature me in the studio and feature my music and everything yeah. that I got going on yeah. they're gonna follow me around with my career and show everybody what I'm doing but instead they put you in a situation where you're about to fight somebody well I'm not saying you personally no I'm just saying I mean, this is what I heard from yeah people. I've been in I've been in situations where that happened but for the most part I would really say that I love hip-hop Surround your drama around whatever you're doing. So if you have a salon, it might make may, somebody might get their wig snatched off in your salon, but you're you will get some type of you know shine light. for your salon. <laughs> yeah, you'll definitely get some trafficking done. You know from the your salon. You right. know, and um, as far as like like I had a, it's like crossing your fingers to hope that the area music looks. You know, mm. but thank God, you know, I I had that happen about I had about four or five music looks, set so, um out of. 11 episodes so, so did you think that at this point in your career it just couldn't help you anymore like you had to kind of like you said branch off to experience some other things in order to grow or mm -hmm. well i think love and hip-hop would would it definitely helps anybody career right um you know but as far as you know i kind of you know how you get in get out just do it and then you done like you're done with it that's yeah. what i didn't want to be like okay you're about to see me on tv every June, like you know, I don't, right. I didn't want it to be consecutive. Like I want to start working on films. I start filming my first movie in January. Wow, what, yeah. what's a movie? It's a big thing. It's a who? It's a big thing. It's a big thing. Okay. <laughs> but well, you said it kind of like oh, it's back to no, Okay, no, big no. thing. <laughs> um, you ever watch King of Paper Chaser? Yeah. Okay. Um, they're they're shooting a video. Um, uh, they're reshooting it for theaters. Oh, oh, I didn't know that. Yes, yeah, so um, and you're gonna be in it. And I got a main role, Seth. What you gonna be? Who you gonna be? A stick up girl. Oh, okay. You know, I was Perfect. Trying to do that very well. Nice. Allegedly. Okay. You know, so um, that should be exciting. Right. So I want to get more into that, you know, and I'm not trying to. I'm. Not, I don't want. I don't want to be on a TV show where someone is has to is gonna edit me or you know make right. me. Hey, what's up? And if, if somebody's gonna um, you know, just basically like edit me to be what they want me to be, you know? Because everyone me, me and like, oh my God, you're so sweet, and blah, 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 blah. you know? And I try to like show my personality on on Instagram a lot, and like my YouTube channel. Like I did a question and answer, it was 25 minutes. And I got so, I got so much good feedback from it. So I'm like, I'm gonna do this again. I just don't know what I'm gonna do, but you know? Um, but I just, I don't want, I don't want, I'm kind of like, just it's like I said, get in, get out. Okay. I respect that. Mm -hmm. But you had a lot of stuff going on anyway. You got a cosmetics line, a clothing line. Is this all true? What cosmetic line? Oh, uh -huh. I, I, 
I, I don't know. I'll be finding out new stuff about myself every day. You know, I'll be <laughs> like, dang, I messed with him. This is, that, that was the information that I received from your one sheet. Oh, no. No. I don't have a cosmetic line, but I hope to have a cosmetic line. Oh, okay. Line. All right. Mm -hmm. Okay. So you also, I had, and I was going to ask you about this, but maybe I'm wrong, an adult-only club endeavor happening? Is that not happening? Is that, am I wrong again? Adult only club. <laughs> yeah, because I wasn't quite sure what that meant, and I wanted to see whether or not it was a sex a sex club. Oh no. No. Okay. I mean, yeah. <laughs> okay. I, bo I bartended at a strip club before, but that's about it as far as adult. <laughs> okay, maybe that's what they were talking about. Okay, I'm sorry about that. I, yeah. Yeah. Uh, you've been very open about surgeries in the past. Yes. So why? Because I'm I'm pretty much open book though. Like anything you want to know, I tell. You okay. Know? Um, but. That's funny because most people just deny all of that. Of course, I've seen girls, trust me, I've seen girls um, go, to, go to the butt shot lady and then next thing you know they got, they've been doing squats. Like mm -hmm. I done seen girls go to my doctor to get ab sculpture, next thing you know they're a fitness model. I done seen it all happen, you know, so I'm... I just feel like, why you got to lie, you know? So, I just, so I, I mean, I'm so it. confused, though, because you don't look, to me, like, I mean, I, I haven't seen you naked, obviously, Dream Doll, but, you, like, I, 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 you, to me, you don't look like you've had work done. But I might, I mean, maybe I'm completely wrong here. I don't know. Let me ask you something. What does work done look like? I don't know. I mean, I've seen a lot of naked people. Yeah. You well, know? I mean, if you check out my IG, you probably see, but right now, you know, I'm just chilling. Okay. But, you know, <laughs> the, 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 it's there. Um, but... You know, like, I just feel like, and another thing why, reason why I call my project like. Well, I want to, I want to answer your question, though. Yeah. Some people look like they've had work done. Okay. To me. Yeah. Especially older women. Mm hmm Because they don't, they don't look like, you know. Yeah. You know, like Chris Jenner that. to me. I can yeah. see, I mean, I, and I knew she had work done anyway, because I'd be watching the show. Well, she has a lot of money, so I'm quite sure she could get anything. Yeah. <laughs> but I'm just saying. Any she ain't got one wrinkle. Not one. Not one. It's, <laughs> yeah. You know, more power to her, but, you know, I'm very open on it because, like, people like to say, like, under my comments, like, oh, plastic this or plastic that, you know, so if I name my project Life in Plastic, what can you say? If I... Well, I mean, I like that about you, the fact that you're just putting everything out there. Yeah, I don't, I'm, it's nothing to hide, and 99% of the people that, you know, do say something bad about me actually want my doctor, so it's just, like, I don't really care. I'm very open with my... Okay. I think work. that, I think that's a good way to be. Yeah, but I'm, I must, when I get over there, I'm going to twerk for you. Maybe you'll be able to You're going to twerk. You're going to twerk. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. All right. Now I'm understanding what's going on here. Okay. You know what, though? I work in the strip clubs a lot, and really? there was an actual situation where there was a girl that was a dancer in one of the strip clubs that I worked in, and Michi can attest to this because he worked there, too, and the girl put fix a flat in her butt. She had someone injected fix a, fl fix a flat into her butt. you talking about, like, when you plug the... Yes. Yes. How did it look? No, look at Michi's face. He's trying Michi, to how did it look? It was yes. crazy. Yes. Did it look bad? Yes. It hardened and she couldn't, there was nothing she could do about it. Oh my God. So it's like, you know, I, I, I hear these stories too. They're horrible. Horrible stories. Yeah, no, but I went to um, Columbia and I um, got a, a fat transfer, so. Okay. I'm not putting no fix a flat. Like, no, I, I didn't think you would. But, but I, I heard you. stories, you know, like I've seen like a lot of people. They'll leave the United States and get surgery and then all of a sudden everything. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. it's, it's both ways because some people, you know, they want the body and don't have the money to actually go and get it done the right way. So they get like um, somebody from, they find someone to, you know. Right, do it. Do cheap. it and for then cheap yeah. and then you deal with the consequences Absolutely, later. Absolutely, yeah. Um, yeah, so I done seen it happen both ways and then I seen even bad work happen overseas mm. you know um you just got to research a doctor and just really like look at their work and make sure it's them because a lot of doctors like the popular ones they're making their interns and um assistants do people now so oh that's not good make sure you go with the trends only thing I want is I want my boobs to go back to where they were when I was 18 other than that I'm good yeah I feel like my boobs have been growing lately and I actually did my boobs maybe like six years ago I'm like hold up Wait. <laughs> well, that's gravity, honey. Yeah, it's, it's something. Cause <laughs> As you get older, you'll start to realize that certain yeah, things start like, falling. Like, <laughs> like, everywhere. Uh, other day, I'm like, dang, I'm having under titty sweat. Like, <laughs> my titty just to be so high oh. now. I'm like, I, they actually. I'll healthy. tell you what. Uh, what help happens if you get a little ration of there? You spill a little deodorant under there. Really? Oh yeah, this I can teach you a lot. <laughs> 
But then am I gonna keep needing deodorant? I've had five I kids, my boobs were like. <laughs> you know that when you start using deodorant and you always gotta use it, do I always have to put deodorant? No, no, under only my when boobs? you feel irritated. Okay, <laughs> okay. making sure. I don't yeah. Don't aspirate anything. Okay, yeah. You know. Right. These are the things I can tell you. Do, do, <laughs> gravity started working on my body when I, when, when I had my first baby. Uh, summertime, I'm like, whoa. What the <laughs> fuck? You know? You'll start to see in your JJ too. There's gonna be a lot of stuff going on down there too. Oh God, <laughs> I need a um a manual. So I know you recently sp spoke out like in the fall about Nicki Minaj had a little run-in with that young lady right there. So are you oh. guys good? Like, what's the situation I mean, with you? I mean, it's like, a, are you picking sides because you're friends with Kim? <laughs> like, what's happening? Well, I, I wasn't. I wasn't involved in. Um, you know, I'm pr I'm I'm big on if you guys problems with somebody else, I'm gonna do with me. Right, 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 yeah. My name is Just Signing That Mask, but um, I don't have an issue with with Nikki. I don't. Good, because I think the, everybody needs to just come together. There's really no. Well, that's women. never gonna happen. It, it has to happen. When, when I was growing up, the women liked each other, except Roxanne Shante and MC Light. Those are the only two, right? <laughs> I met Roxanne Shante the other day. Actually, it's serious. I I met her. Okay. And she was so nice to me, and I I'm like. Wait, I I remember from the from the movie. I just watched the movie recently. Oh yeah, yeah, the story. You know, but um, I met her daughter. Her daughter was super nice to me. She's like, Trin, can we take a picture? And I took a picture, a selfie with her. But um, she's she's nice. Yeah, she's dope. She's nice. But yeah, that was it, right, Craig? Craig's here. Yeah. That was it. Yeah, that was it for women. Everybody liked each other. They made they made uh, videos together and supported each other musically. I think we can get back there again. Well, who gonna call you? I feel like I should make some phone calls. Let's go. <laughs> Come on, man. Gotta do something. Are you gonna work with Cardi in the future? Well, I hope to work with yeah. Cardi. I feel like that would be a great collab, you know, coming out the Bronx. and. Plus, you know what? Most former love and hip hop people, maybe mm -hmm. she should, you know, embrace you, you know, be like, yeah, this like this is a good thing. You well, know? I actually performed. I was actually, you know, one of the girls that got picked to perform for the the um, Fashion Nova Cardi B collaboration. Wow! The show. Yeah. Over in LA. I didn't. I didn't see it. No. Yeah. Um. I was. I was. A, I performed. That's dope. Yeah. So I she's... had a tw a twenty minute set. Yeah. So y'all like met yeah, each other I met, and talked. And... I met Cardi before. Um. Met. I met her at um. Was it the Powerhouse? Philly Powerhouse. But it's just dope to to be. A, it was. It was really dope to be a part of. You know the show and meet other females because. A hundred percent of the time when I actually meet, you know, the females in person, like other female rappers, they be super nice. And I'd be like, let's get, you know, it'd be a, like yeah, a they, genuine conversation. There shouldn't be that much competition. For yeah, like females. even I met, I met Sweetie too. She was really nice. She was really nice. Y'all should be competing with the men because the men are making the most money. Well, we can actually make that switch over. Right, that's what I'm saying. That's why y'all could have come together. Yeah. No, I mean, I'm with it. Okay. I'm with it. You see me. Female girl power. No, oh, I like that dream, though. <laughs> okay, so album, when is it coming out, you know? Um, well, I'm actually working on my next single right now. Okay. Um, but it should be dropping sometime next year. All right. Looking um, forward to it. Yeah. I'm, I'm not undecided on, you know, what I'm going to name it, but Christ show's going to be something dope. All right. Well, congratulations on the movie. We'll be looking forward to it. Yes. Thank you. Oh, Dream Dobbin in the studio. It's Hat 937.